So T Dover as far as Griffin part three. I don't want to see the fight, but I definitely want to make the prediction because I think this is funny. UFC has been great for years and uh, made a lot of stars, and uh, some of them are falling off right now. Okay, some of them got to go, and they're no longer the guys we want to see. And we've seen him fight too many times. And one of them is Tito Ortiz. I mean, he, he's the one. He's the main one. I mean, Tito sucks, you know. Tito, Tito shouldn't be in the UFC. Tito's a rich man. Tito's annoying because he's not in it to fight. He's in it to talk and promote his business. That's why he's there. And he's at the end of the line. He's going to be able to promote his business in, in a lot of other places besides in the octagon. You know, he's, he's going to keep on promoting punishment and, and whatever else he's going to do. You know, I, I hope he makes a porno with Jenna Jameson. That's, that's what he should do. But Tito, Tito blows, okay? Tito is not a fighter. It's, it's a shame that there's not other fighters up, you know, higher up in, in the UFC being able to showcase their skills instead of Tito Ortiz. How, what, what good is Tito Ortiz? And it's even worse that he's fighting Forrest Griffin, you know? They shouldn't let a young guy beat him up. Or at least a young guy, you know, prove that he can beat him up, give him a chance. And uh, he's probably going to beat him up. But instead, we get to see Forrest Griffin versus Tito, part three. Stupidest fight of the year, you know. And uh, I'm actually going to bet on this one. I'm going to bet that Forrest Griffin wins. I don't think Forrest Griffin has too much heart, but Tito is even worse. You know, Forrest Griffin says he wants to retire, but he's still a tough dude. I mean, I know, I know Tito is, is a tough guy, and he has some heart, but he's just so badly out of shape now, and his fighting days are, are gone. I know he, he tapped out Bader real quick, but that was a fluke. And uh, Tito, Tito's going to get beaten up in this fight. You know, he doesn't care if he gets beaten up, so he's just going to get his name out there one more time in the, in the Cole main event. But a uh, real crappy fight, I, I don't want to really see it, or I wouldn't pay money for it, but I guess I'll watch it if I'm, at, if I'm at the bar and stuff. But this is just, this is the end of the line for the stars. You know, Rampage's got to go, Vandalay's got to go, Rich Franklin's got to go, Forrest Griffin, and of course Tito. And, and, and the lesser of those five are, are, are Rich Franklin and, and Forrest, you know, but they're, they're still... Pretty bad, you know. We're, we're way worse is Rampage, just pathetic. He made two hundred thousand dollars for his for his last UFC fight, UFC one forty four. He was gonna make two fifty and he would have made even more if he won. But he doesn't care. He just showed up and made two hundred grand. So it's getting lame, you know. And uh, these big names are the ones that still push, you know, the, the sales, the UFC pay per view sales, but these guys, Rampage, Tito, they suck. And they, they got to go. And I'm glad Tito's going because he's gone after this fight. So he's going to lose and he's going to set off into the sunset, as they call it. He's going to go do business elsewhere. Behind the scenes, make money. You know, the, guy, the guy's wealthy. He drives a Bentley. No, excuse me. He drives a Rolls Royce. I saw him in San Diego in a white Rolls Royce before he crashed it. So he drives a Rolls Royce. That was about a year and a half ago. I don't know what he's driving right now. Who knows? But... Probably, you know, 99.999% it's going to be a lot nicer than your car. So the, guy, the guy's a wealthy man, and he doesn't need to get his ass kicked anymore. There's no point. So bet your money on Forrest Griffin for this fight, and uh, I hope we don't, you know, see Tito around anymore. And uh, good for Forrest Griffin. He's going to get an easy win. So that's my prediction for Tito versus Forrest 3. And uh, I'm real sure about this. Forrest Griffin's going to win the fight. So don't sit home and, and, and not do anything and then later on say, oh, why didn't I do anything? Why didn't I bet on Forrest? Forrest Griffin's going to win the fight. Easy. You know, Tito beat Bader, but besides that, he's going to lose every fight he goes into. He just really can't fight anymore. So he's going to get beaten pretty bad. And make some money from this, guys. Make some money. This is an easy one. Real easy. Open up a betting account somewhere. I don't want to tell you where, but open it up for this fight. This is the fight that you need to bet on. Because Tito sucks. That's the reason. A lot of the times when you're making a bet, you don't think about the guy that you're betting for. You think of the guy that you're betting against. And Tito is the kind of guy you want to bet against. Now, I don't know the odds for this fight yet, but I'm sure that Forrest Griffin is going to be the favorite. If the lines aren't that spread, 
you know, if you can get a negative 150 or a negative 180 on Forrest Griffin, do it. Because it's going to be worth it. You can put 100 down, you'll get 50 back. Or you can put 200 down, you'll get 100 back. Get yourself a present that night. Okay, that's the prediction. Forrest Griffin is going to win. Tito Ortiz is going down. Simple, definitive, the truth. Subscribe, guys, if you really want real good predictions from a guy who doesn't follow what everybody else says and actually just lays it out there. Follow Paulie G on YouTube and subscribe to this channel. And I'll show you guys how to make some money. Because some of these fighters are on their way out right now, and it's pretty easy to make money for them. Another one is Rampage. Whoever he fights next, if he fights Shogun, bet on Shogun. Because Rampage does not care. He won't, even, he won't even weigh in properly. And he just runs his mouth. When you see a guy running his mouth like that and just acting and not fighting, it's time to play some bets. There we go. Subscribe, guys.